Hello and welcome to the business team update from the Tao team. Welcome to the January update and let's get into it. So I'll pass it over to Killian for his update for the month. Yep. Thanks for Hi everybody. So yeah, again, quite a fruitful month with lots of different things to do. Um, first of all, we, uh, we've been creating and editing different articles or announcements, so to say, that we've published on our medium. So definitely check that out. Uh, one is the article about our uh, scientific breakthroughs and milestones that's, that we have achieved over the years. Um, another article um, is about the importance of patents to the Townet community and Agoras holders, basically safeguarding our IP um, against other projects that might just try to copy our our, our code. Um, so that basically safeguards not just us as a project, but also you as community members and ensures that all value is um, captured inside our network. Um, and then there was also David's uh, Tau language development update, uh, which is also uh, published on Medium. Um, then, together with Fola and Igor, we completed the updated um, pitch deck that is, has, covers more about the blockchain and decentralized AI aspect of our project. So, using that updated um, pitch deck um, already helped us to now um, approach different VCs in the blockchain space. Yeah, then um, we've also been uh, working on getting a developer forum launched, the Tau and Taunet developer forum, uh, together with Jamie Fuller Igor. We've been working on it. I gave some feedback on the forum structure. I'm sure you will hear, hear more of it by Igor. Um, then I've been vetting different projects that approached us. Uh, I cannot name, give any specific name so far as we're still evaluating whether certain partnerships make sense. Um, but once we have something um, in the box, you will hear more about it. Um, we've also been looking into more allies for marketing, um, more about that also to come later. Um, we've also been looking into different exchanges. And you know, we've been listed on Gate.io, but we're still looking into other exchanges, preferably getting um, our project listed in at least uh, one more exchange near term. And, um, yeah, then there, we had a case with, um, then we had a case where, well, we already got the audit of our smart contract of the Agora smart contract by Certic like some years ago, but there were some issues. Like if you would go on Certic, there were two project, two audits, um, basically listed or two, our project was listed twice, but only one of these projects were, was covering the right audit. So we were um, connecting to them and um, up, ensuring that basically there's only one uh, project correctly displayed on Certic. And then uh, we also did outreach to CoinMarketCap on CoinGecko to link to the right or, uh, to the right listing on Certic and display everything correctly. Um, furthermore, there were, was more conversation with CoinGecko with regards to updating the circulating supply because previously it wasn't there, but gladly now we finally have the circulating supply uh, displayed for Agoras on CoinGecko and therefore we also have um, finally a rank on CoinGecko for Agoras. Um, then we also we reignited our Twitter uh, Tau Twitter Tempest Telegram group. So th this group was originally launched by Jamie, a community member, but um, previously we like there was not really much activity. But now, um, as there's much more interest in our project and more people interested in sharing content um, on Twitter, we basically reignited that group. So now if you feel like you are active on Twitter, or you would like to raise awareness about our project, definitely join the Tau Twitter Tempest Telegram group, which you can find a link to in the pinned messages of our main uh, Tau Telegram group. And yeah, happy to see you get, get involved. And um, yeah, then also I've been uh, working on a resource resources list which basically is a list of all the relevant content, like interviews, published articles, facts about our project and technology, et cetera. 
so that anyone in our community ultimately will be able to quickly have an, an overview of what is available as uh, valuable content and then can use that content to basically, basically raise awareness around our project. And last but not least, uh, this month, the community member of the month is Vax C, if I hope I pronounce this correctly, but yeah, he's been really active with uh, posting uh, things on Twitter, raising awareness on our project. So thank you and yeah, congratulations. That's, it's, that's it from me. Fantastic update, Killian. Uh, I'll pass it over to Igor for his update next. Cheers. All right, thank you, Paula, and hello, everyone. So, um, yeah, pretty much my month was working with Killian, as he mentioned previously. So we redesigned and designed also to have two pitch decks. One is for the blockchain uh, crypto VCs, and uh, pretty much the previous pitch deck was just updated with some numbers and basically some of the updates in terms of the project progress. And also with designing these pitch decks, there was also a couple of uh, social media assets that I was working with Carolina. These are related to the articles that are yet to be released. And there are also the assets that I'm going to prepare for the press kit. So we have a discussion about these assets being available to you. You will be able to download this. You will be able to find the hex code of the colors and fonts and everything that you're going to need in the future if you're creating any sort of content for the social media or any blogs or whatever. I do remember there are a couple of people who approached me previously. You're welcome still to approach me in DM. I will be able to give you these assets directly. I'm pretty much 24 seven available as you could probably see. So yeah, uh, you can always um, ask me if you have any assistance or if you need any assistance with these assets. Uh, alongside with these updates, I also been working on some uh, website updates. Uh, Killian and I have found a couple of typos here and there. We changed that. We upgraded some of the plugins that were recently used on our web page. But uh, last but not least, we also updated the um, custom URL. Uh, this custom URL is uh, mainly for the project up uh, progress section. So you essentially have the uh, uh, custom URL directly to see what uh, was previously completed and what is currently in progress. Uh, but we will also be uh, giving uh, other custom URLs that were also already implemented to the page uh, that was only related to Tau, TauNet, and uh, Tau language page with these custom URLs. And uh, last but not least, uh yeah as Killian mentioned we are working on the Tau forum uh currently i've been setting up some coding here and there i did uh, implement some of the changes based on the team that we're going to use but uh oleg fall and i will have a call with one of the developers who is going to help us when it comes to uh coding and uh, some redesigning parts of this this team and hopefully this forum will be available um in a couple of weeks from now and uh, yeah, pretty much the last update was uh, Oleg and I had the call with one of the marketing agencies. Um, so I will give, I will leave Oleg to explain a little bit more about this topic to you. And that's it for my month. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much, Igor. I'll pass it over to Carolina for her update for the month. Thank you, Paula, and uh, hi, everyone. So uh, firstly, um, we are updating the branding for both Taunet and Agoras. Uh, our goal is to make sure that the logos uh, align better with the Tao brand family. And uh, since those logos were created at different times by different designers, uh, we'll need to do some minor tweaks, um, nothing big, just to make sure that the brand family looks more cohesive. So um, you will see those updates in the press kit that uh, Igor is working on in the future as well. Um, over the past month, we've also prepared two new articles for publication. And in terms of our publishing strategy, we are um, currently in the process of uh, finalizing it. So this will include um, deciding the most effective approach to share um, the articles. Uh, we are targeting a wide range of audiences uh, from business and tech professionals to developers, uh, crypto, uh, formal methods. Um, so uh, we are also identifying different types of channels, uh, such as news publications, uh, social media, 
uh, channels, mailing lists, bloggers. Um, we have to have everything in one place uh, to be able to access it easily uh, so that we can ensure that our con content uh, reaches the right people. Um, so in order to publish our content more efficiently in the future, not just uh, on our own um, channels, but on external channels and paid media as well, uh, we've been building this comprehensive database together with uh, Oleg and Fola. And once this step is complete, we'll be able to move on to uh, working on a comprehensive PR strategy. Um, lastly, aside from branding and PR, uh, I have made some minor updates uh, to our website and other copy uh, to keep things uh, fresh and up to date. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much, Carolina. I just wanted to revisit um, uh, uh, Killian's thoughts on the uh, CERTIC update. Um, just as he, what, he, what Killian was saying is that there's, there were two uh, CERTIC pages um, that had uh, uh, Agoras listed, um, and they essentially had half of our uh, audit on one and half of the other side of the audit that was tracking the project on another. And it basically gave us two really poor scores um, but when we combined the two, um, when we spoke to uh, Certic, it gave us a, a grade eight. So um, unfortunately, we're somehow rolling around with um, two split scores um, over two pages, but now it's all combined into one and uh, our, our Certic uh, rating is uh, fantastic. Um, just also on uh, touching what Carolina said about the uh, town and Agora's branding, very, very minor tweaks. We're just giving it a bit of a it a 2024 refresh, bringing it up to speed with um, the Tau logo. Um, we also want to make sure that these three logos are co cohesive, but they aren't like before <laughs> going to hold us back on anything, any of the um, animation stuff we're doing, any of the uh, uh, content that we're producing or anything like that. So um, there's no sort of roadblocks uh, or, or contingencies that uh, uh, rely on these two updates. We're just making these two things refresh and um, and uh, yeah, you'll sort of see like a bit of a silent or sort of minor adjustment on our website on both of those two icons. All right, um, and that's it. And I'll pass it over to Oleg <laughs> for his update this month. All right, hi all. Uh, uh, this month I was focused on building our network and uh, direct uh, communications with journalists and tech, tech people that could be um, work with us in the future and help us to promote the product. And I had a bunch of online and offline meetings that could help us to promote uh, Tao, Tao language, and Agoras, spread the world, and uh, help us to, um, to improve our visibility on the market. So um, I worked on a tracking system uh, that helps us to uh, see uh, everything that appears on the internet and uh, make sure that information is correct and uh, not related to some scam schemes. Like last week, we catch a couple of um, publications that obviously were scammed and we stopped them immediately. So if anybody of, from, from our community could see or catch this information, please share with us and we will make sure that it will be stopped. Building our network so we have new contacts and new people who who are really interested in the product and we will keep communication with them and keep them updated. These people will get early access to the product and we will uh, leverage their uh, knowledge and experience. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Oleg. So we're converging on the Tau language release. Uh, we also have pretty much a beta release of the Tau parser coming when uh, Umar comes back and he's able to finalize some bits there. Um, so we're pushing on this, uh, Tau forum and how we ultimately distribute content and ultimately where our developers and the community will reside. Um, obviously you guys have been sitting in Telegram and Twitter for a little while now. And we're focusing on Twitter a lot more because we can also get a lot more, uh, uh influences involved, um, by way of, uh, uh, you know, pushing them some of our content and, and getting them familiar with what Tau can do. Um, which we can't really do in, in Telegram because it's almost like a closed box. So once uh, Tau language is released, once Testnet is released, you have a place to talk about specifically uh, 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 all, all different kinds of, all different parts of Tau. You know, whether it's, uh, for example, the uh, econ economy of Agoras, 
um, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, how to use Tao language and so on. And we're going to be in there as well, helping you guys um, and uh, putting out a lot of information to assist, uh, uh, you know, using uh, Tao language. So, um, uh, you know, that's a, a massive focus for us uh, alongside a lot of the content that we have planned as well. And really, sh really, uh, uh, you know, digging into how we're going to distribute this content. There's a million and one ways to distribute content. I mean, Oleg's an absolute expert. Caroline is an absolute expert in this. And um, right now we're just converging on, you know, making sure that we have, uh, 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 you know, specific plans for, for different types of content. Um, and, you know, when we put out a lot of the content that we've already got, we know exactly where it's going to go, how we're going to do it. Um, and just, you know, have a much clearer focus. So, uh, you know, cutting away of a lot of the, uh, thinking, um, part of it by doing a lot of the thinking now. Um, so that's pretty much what we're focused on at the moment, making a lot of tweaks and obviously, you know, galvanizing around this, uh, uh Tao language release, which is, uh, coming soon, um, alongside the pants as well, where we'll be able to talk a lot more about, uh, Tao language itself and, um, about the project. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for the month of January. We will see you in Telegram, on Twitter, on the forum when it's released pretty soon. And, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Cheers.